got some cattle on the property here. So we've got a lot of gates we got to manage and we're going to put an Apollo, a nice Apollo brand opener on it. We're going to have an exit loop here that will be a sensor in the ground and then open the gate to this position. We'll install the control arm here and the control box somewhere here. And then right back past where the doggy is here, we'll put a pedestal there um, with some cable inside conduit here so that we can have a uh, keypad entry. Underneath here, we'll have to trench and put a eye sensor on this side and one over here. And that'll be the basic setup for this is the photo eye sensor will be for safety when the gate's closing so it doesn't close in a vehicle that's breaking the beam. Keypad entry will be to make it easy to get out of the into the property with a keypad if you don't have a remote handy. And then the sensor for exiting will automatically open and then automatically close. So that's what we're gonna be putting together and now we'll show you how that goes. So I've got to start on the trenches for the different PVCs that we gotta run. This one's for the exit loop, exit sensor, and this one's for the keypad. Still gotta dig them down a little deeper, but I'm pretty worn out today. And then figure out a way to rig the control box up on top of this pole here. So here's how I'm gonna mount my actuator arm onto that telephone pole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this old piece of I-beam here and I'm gonna bolt it into the telephone pole in these three holes. I'm gonna make them, these holes bigger and then put, put these long bolts all the way through the telephone pole. The cutout of the I-beam here will help stabilize uh, the, the I-beam on the round pole. So here's the arm that you have to put on your post and that hole there is where the linear actuator is gonna connect. And I'm just gonna put some real, real sturdy uh, bolts on the back here. And then in three places, really just pin this uh, steel right to that pole. And then I'll be able to put spacers in behind as I need to keep this at the right level so that it's uh, nice and perpendicular with the, with the gate so that I'm not having the linear actuator pull on an off angle. So I'll be able to put some spacers behind there and set this right where it needs to go. So then I marked a, a box here. I was doing some measurements. The post that'll come out, it has to be cut back. In this case, with this particular arm uh, from Nice Apollo, you've got to have 13 inches this way and six inches of distance this way to the center of your hinge of your gate. So I'm going to use this spot here did some measuring. I'm going to cut back this piece of metal. It's going to be cut back to about like this. And then I'm going to weld it there. So this, this arm here will be very rigidly attached to this pole and it's not going to move at all with these three heavy bolts going through, holding it on there. All right. And then that'll, that'll line up so that the uh, linear actuator will connect from there. And then the other end of it will be welded onto the middle of this gate. And then as it as it starts to retract the actuator, close the gate and then open the gate. I'm also gonna use this piece of steel. I'm gonna weld some plate metal out here, make like a little shelf here to set that on because the weight of that battery will be here. And then I'll put some screws uh, through the box that'll go into that pole to hold it and secure it. And then up on top, we'll have the solar panel like this um, po uh, pointing in this direction over here. A little bit of measuring, a little bit of cutting, a little welding, but that's what you got to do to secure that arm in the box in a good place. So I also welded a couple of these little box, half boxes that I'm gonna mount the photo eyes in so I can rigidly um, nail these to a post and uh, secure the, the photo eye under here. It'll have a little, little rain protection 
and that way they'll be mounted easily. All right, so we're gonna do a little test here. See if we got this level. Not bad. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm down at the job site and I got the car uh, gate opener, cartel gate opener sensor here and we're gonna lay it down in this trench. That's uh, probably 30 feet from the, the gate itself. And gonna run this, this line through some conduit up to the control box. Got the control box mounted up on the pole and the battery in there, it's nice and tight. Um, next thing we're gonna do is start to run the conduit that comes up with the wiring uh, from my keypad and my exit sensor and wire them up into the bottom of the box. So I got the solar panel attached to the post and uh, the uh, connecting wire that comes into the control box, I put in some flexible conduit, so that'll help it survive from a lot of UV and weather that'll be uh, beating down on this thing and hopefully that'll protect it. And now I just gotta continue to get my wiring all piped into this uh, PVC and I'm gonna put a, a box down here, like a junction box where all these connectors come together. Uh, and then after that, we'll be uh, ready to install the arm and start to uh, move this gate. So we're getting ready to pour some concrete, set the post here for the uh, pedestal keypad. And then farther down, we'll set the sign that says uh, stop here and wait for the gate to open. Going to go ahead and attach that keypad to the post. Now the post is set in the concrete. This yellow wire won't need. I'm just going to leave it there. And then these other four, a strip. And if you don't have one of these automatic wire strippers, you got to get one. This is the best thing ever. You just put your put your wire in and this acts as a guide for how long you want the strip to be and that's it it just pulls it right off perfect every time it adjusts to the thickness of the wire and the sheathing on it and it's just so easy i'll put a link to these on uh, amazon you got to get one these are great I got the arm uh, set in place here. Just set the screw in, it's not tight or anything yet. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and wire up uh, the connectors into the board. So to adjust the limits on this, you're going to take a screwdriver and unscrew these plastic caps that are on the back here. Got the pin screwed onto the gate there now. I'm going to go and do some testing. Go ahead and close. Now, I'm not sure you can tell there, but I need the gate to close about another three feet to that first uh, post right here. So I'm gonna have to do some adjustments on the limits. And for the close, I'm gonna use the left uh, spot here, I use a Phillips screwdriver. And to make it close more, you're gonna turn, it's got a plus sign here, and you're gonna, you're gonna turn this counterclockwise. And the screw spins real freely. So I'm just gonna spin it a couple times and then see what I get. Go ahead and close the button. You can see that I only brought it in a couple inches. And we'll just repeat this a couple more times as we get the gate closer to the close limit. And that's it, we're at the limit of the, of the extension. So, and good, in a good spot and that tells me that my measurements uh here off of the uh, arm um coming off my pivot point from my hinges is is probably pretty pretty close because i've hit that hit that limit there so so i've done um adjusting that close limit so i'm just going to go ahead and put the plastic covers back on there for that one and then i'll check my open Hit my open button. So that opened up as far as I wanted. I'm real close here. I had turned that screw a little bit already. That's the right screw, because you can see the max that it can go is up to here. But I didn't want this collar of the arm to be hitting the gate or hitting this part here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that limit alone and go ahead and finish um, securing this piece here and checking everything else out. And I think we're gonna be good to go. So there's the final product. Got everything installed, photo eyes, solar panel, keypad. Got that buzzer alarm in there turned on. The solar's working. Got the limits to slow down at at the last 20% uh, or so of the of the travel of the gate. And everything's done. Just gonna come back and weld this on here uh, instead of these bolts. And I uh, should be good to go. So hey, I hope this uh, was helpful to you to learn how to install a rural gate system with solar all by yourself. And uh, it's easily doable. Just takes a bit of planning and a lot of little a lot of little work to put the all the connections together a lot of digging um i hope it was a useful video and if it was please give it a thumbs up that'll help other people find it as well and as always have a great day